I want to start with the chart because we're talking about perhaps the trepidation or caution in the market right now. But I don't know where exactly it is. Take a look at the Bloomberg here. Uh, this shows the number of days that the S&P 500 goes at a time without a drawdown of at least 5%. We're up to 257 right now. So we, yeah, we, we've seen some minor jitters in the market recently, but it doesn't seem like anybody's pricing in anything that dire. There's certainly a lot of complacency in markets today. And at First Eagle, we view markets more as an ecosystem rather than a machine. So as opposed to trying to predict the zigs and zags of the market, we're, we're really looking to be resilient and durable in these kind of markets. And the other thing you learn when you look at markets as an ecosystem is trees don't grow to the sky. And this is definitely a moment uh, where there's quite a bit of complacency uh, in asset prices. Credit spreads have gone from very high to very low. Uh, risk perception, as measured by the implied volatility, has gone from uh, high to low. Uh, PE ratios have gone up. A lot of improvements happened in the economy. Unemployment's gone from 10% to close to 4%. So much of that cyclical improvement in confidence and margins may be behind us rather than ahead of us. And so it's a time to be a little reflective and potentially cautious uh, when you think about investing right now. Does that mean that you're taking this recent pullback more seriously than you would just dismiss it as we had to get here given the recent rally that we've seen? Well, we don't have a short-term view on the markets, but what I can tell you is that if you look at our portfolios, uh, our cash levels have built in the portfolios because it's harder to find good businesses at good prices one at a time. And so our cash levels are up around 20% uh, mm. today in our portfolios. So we have plenty of deferred purchasing power should this pullback uh, transform into something more serious uh, in coming months. You know, we have to reflect on the fact as well that um, a lot of the monetary growth may be behind us rather than ahead of us. The Fed is tightening. Uh, we've come out of the 19th Party Congress in China and they may start to refocus on deleveraging and reform. And so many of the things that have propelled this hot air balloon market to higher heights um, could turn into uh, counterbalancing forces in coming months.